Hello and welcome to a, a quick video about how uh, to run Kaylee um, in a live version on a VMware workstation. I've just added this to show the steps on how to do it, should there be any doubts. So first things first, I've downloaded the uh, KD Live image and uh, go to and create a new virtual machine and we do a typical one. We will browse and see, I have a lot of virtual machines here. Um, and we'll do the one called uh, KLU 202003, yes. And uh, we know that it is based on Debian 10. It's actually a rolling, which is some nice technology. Um, we will call it something better. I thought I deleted it. No, anyway. So let's just call it Kaylee Live 2, just to show you. And um, given this is a virtual machine running live from the CD-ROM, it actually does not need a hard disk. But for some reason, VMware Workstations does not allow us to create a virtual machine without hard disks. Um, yes. And we power this on after creation. We're doing netting. We have two gigabytes of memory. Um, we could customize hardware if we want to. So instead of two gigabytes of memory, we could give it uh, four, if we like. Oh, that failed. No, that worked, okay. And um, we can give it a couple of cores, depending on your hardware, the way you want to do it. Uh, the more cores, the faster. The more memory, the less like the more programs you can run, basically. Yes, four cores, four gigs of memory. We are doing netting here, as opposed to bridging or similar. And uh, yeah, fine. And it boots. Um, the um, VMware ISO is, oh yeah, sorry. And we are picking live. We, we're not installing, we're just running it live which means that whatever we do will be non-persistent, which means that whenever we reboot, we're just gonna go back from scratch. This is really nice if we are using it for debugging of uh, certain systems, or if we wanna play around with um, the internal networking to see if how stuff works, and when it breaks, we can just reboot it and everything is forgotten. Um, one of the things I noticed before was that uh, since I'm this is a three gigabyte disk image, and I'm pulling it from a cloud, so not cloud, uh, from a network attached storage. So booting it on this machine actually takes longer than I expected, but uh, not that long, that's fine. The, uh, on the um, uh, Kaylee Live uh, 2020 version, we are having a user called Kaylee, and we're having a password for that user called Kaylee also as opposed to the root to, uh, solution earlier. There's one more little trick I would like to show you, which is we uh, start a terminal and we uh, want to install something. So since it's a live version, the uh, package uh, repository, the list will be um, obsolete. And now I did this thing where, because I'm usually root when we do Kaylee, but they changed it. Uh, very recently, so I'm not used to it yet. So you need to have administrative rights in order to run, uh, in order to update the package repository. And um, it's connecting to the internet, which basically means it has internet. And then the thing I want to install is um, uh, the thing called open the um, tools. These are the tools that is needed on the inside of a VMware virtual machine in order to talk to the host system. So when this gets installed, we should see that, yes, you can see that it updated the screen resolution so it matches the window and this is gonna take some time. 
Um, I can just show a little extra thing here. If I do an IPA or address if you like, you can see that uh, I'm on some local subnet and um, with the corresponding uh, uh, router. VMware uses dot two for the uh, router. Um, dot one is usually reserved for the host if you want to have the uh, host running VMware Workstation to be on the same subnet as the others, then you will uh, be that will be the dot one. That's just a good to know thing. The um, it takes some time for it to um, install the manual um, database. And that is um, a question of uh, uh, virtualization and so on. My expectation is that this would be a lot quicker if uh, it was uh, actually installed on a physical system. But uh, that was basically what I want to show. I have booted up a Kali uh, Live. Um, this one has a hard disk. Let's see if it's mounted. It is not mounted but it will have a, um, a hard disk. We can see the stats for the hard disk if you like. We need to be root to do this. So we have a uh, 20 gigabyte physical disk in this system that we're not using. Um, Yes, the SR0 would be would mean uh, the CD-ROM, so it runs live right now. That was what I want to say. This one over here will finish uh, very shortly. But uh, now you have seen me go through the motions of uh, starting our virtual machine. Um, so that was what I wanted to say in this video. Thank you for listening.